Hello, how are you guys? I will uh, respond to a question someone has asked me in the comment section. How do I become a quant in uh, an year time? Right? You want to become a, a quant in one year time. Is that possible? Well, <laughs> yes, that's quite possible actually. One year is a good time actually, right? To you know get started with uh, anything actually in life, not just quant finance. Uh, but uh, you know, I need to know actually whether you have uh, any. Uh, you, you already have any you know degrees or not uh, in which field you have your degrees if you have degrees uh, in engineering science you know these mathematical fields is quite easy to learn uh, quantitative finance but if you are coming from a uh, finance background economics background well economics is also quantitative but let's say uh, non mathematical background right uh, then it may be somewhat difficult but if you put in effort that's quite possible there are many ways to become uh, a quant. Um, as I've said many times uh, on this channel, you don't need uh, a master's degree in quantitative finance in order to work in quant finance. Most quants do not have uh, a formal qualification in quant finance. But most quant quants have learned either through internship, either doing self-study, either doing some courses, certifications, or um, have just learned by themselves. Okay, so there are many uh, ways in which uh, there are many paths right uh, one obvious path is to simply go for a master's program in quantity finance there are one year master's program in europe so you can go for for that uh, expensive no doubt uh, but worth it in my view uh, if you have money and time right provided you have money and time not everybody has money and time so you know then in that case uh, don't go for it if you already have a strong uh, educational background in some quantitative subject uh, science or, or or engineering technology computer science then you don't need to go for a, a formal degree again if you have money and time you can go for it it's worth worth uh, the effort but uh, uh, not not if don't don't stretch yourself too much to to go for uh, you know these uh, degrees if you want to move to a different country and because of that you want to go for a degree that's also a good motivation but not otherwise Right. Uh, so how do we come within one year? Right. Uh, again, beside doing a one year master's degree, there are other uh, ways also. Right. Uh, you can do certification. Some uh, one good certification is the CQF one. I've spoken about it many times. Um, well, they, they haven't sponsored this video, by the way, just to class, uh, clarify this. Uh, but, um, you know, I've heard good things about that certification. So, um, Whoever I have spoken to, I think they have spoken really good things about CQF. But uh, CQF uh, is also quite expensive. Not everybody can afford a, a CQF certification. Uh, it's quite expensive. And besides CQF, there is no other industry recognized certification in this field, unfortunately. Some people were, well, there are some institutions here and there, but um, I don't know. I cannot opine on that but uh, you don't need to also do industry recognized certifications by the way even CQF is not known in many places by the way it's not like it, it's known everywhere no uh, but it's it's the oldest certification so people value it uh, but other certifications have got no real value as such I mean if you have learned something that's really uh, good so your motivation should be learning things rather than just piece of paper I think nobody will value that uh, after a while, uh, what you have learned from it uh, is going to be uh, useful. And there are many, uh, there are many such courses in different places. If you do a bit of search, I do run a certification course, uh, but there are also many other certification course courses you, you you could try. Right, depending on who you like, what you like, whether you like the instructor or not, whether the course which is is you know something that um, you can afford, right? Whether you want one-on-one -on -one mentorship or you want to study in a class, do you want more hybrid sort of way of uh, taking classes or do you want to be in classroom and, and take classes? So depending on your preference, you should choose uh, the course or the certification you want to do, right? It depends also which country you are best out of. In some countries, you simply don't have institutions teaching these, these things. There are not many... See, if you are... Uh, yeah, so if I best out of some uh, 
financial centers, you have many such programs. Like you are best out of London or New York. I think you have many good programs, but not everywhere, right? Uh, right. So that's uh, one thing to keep in mind. Uh, there are other ways also, for example, self-study. I've said this many times on this channel that it's quite possible that you do self-study and become a quant. If you are uh, really good at studying from books and from different sources, from blogs and from YouTube videos, why not? So there's ample free uh, material out there, right? Uh, so you can also try that. But most people fail in this area, by the way. Right? Think that they can do self-study it's very difficult actually especially in quant finance it is even more difficult because the course material is so frag so um, available but not in organized structured way so uh, that's uh, one issue people face um, also another issue people who do self-study they face is that they go into depth of one area and they don't finish that they never make progress uh, that's another big issue sometimes you know, the, some of the uh, lectures available on, uh, you know, YouTube channel of MIT and, you know, those places, they're too long, like hours long, just teaching one concept. And these are lectures by academicians. Academicians always think that you will become a professor like them, which is not the case. Right. Good videos, but not for everybody. Not for everybody at all. Many people will be way, like, very bored watching this lecture. So doesn't show them. but uh, if you are really uh, someone uh, who is committed to that why not i think you can uh, you can do self study and, and do well also i know people have done that okay uh, but doing this course or finding a mentor and in a more structured way it is it's much uh, much better actually and suits much more people actually um another thing to keep in mind is that uh, i think you know if you can get uh, you know, get to speak to people who are working in the industry. It's really good to get a feeling of uh, the insider things, what's going on. And, uh, you know, getting to know about uh, a career is very important before you, you know, enter it. Uh, from a lot of, uh, from a, for different sort of reasons. Uh, understanding or knowing technical matters uh, is one thing, but uh, understanding the different, uh, the ecosystem actually, you know, uh, about, is also equally important right unless you talk to people you attend conferences you attend meetups you talk to people who are in the field you will never get to know that right that will not be there in the books or the videos right um, you might know about it through my video and other people who are making videos on youtube but uh, nothing like talking to someone on one on one right that really helps a lot uh, so coming back to the original question, okay, whether you can become a quant in one year time, yes, quite possible, right? Uh, learn in the main topics. I've spoken about the most important topics uh, for quants to know, right? In a lot of the videos, you watch them, you can uh, write them down. Or what you do is that just go to some, um, you know, um, just go through some master's program and see what topics are taught in those programs and learn by yourself. That is possible. But there is there are a lot of problems with this master's degree. They teach way too many things which are not used in the real world. Right? Uh, uh, so how do you know um, know that? That may be a problem for a beginner, complete beginner. Uh, all right, so these are some of the ways uh, using which you know you can learn yourself or you can learn through different means and, and become a quant in one year time right one year time is good enough time actually even if you have good uh, if a good motivation you can even finish uh, learning certain things about quant finance in six to seven months time even five six months time is also enough in my personal opinion it's not just about uh, how much is the time it's about what is your focus level level of focus how much time you can afford to learn right those things will matter thanks guys thanks for watching